Today we're going to go over how to define functions. So let's actually do it. Do that. I'm going to define a function called add up. Open prints. I'm going to pass it two variables. I'll call it x and y. Then I hit the colon, and I say prints x, comma single quote plus single quote comma y comma single quote equal sign single quote comma and then x plus oops comma x plus y close quotes and then enter enter and bingo it's done. Well, that's sort of fantastic. Let's see if it works. Well, before I do that, I know it works. I'm going to come over here, click in there, hit the enter key, and I'm going to define those add up. So we have to have subtract up. And it's going to be print x minus y equals x minus y. I like that. Enter, enter. Let's do that again. This time we'll call it mult up. M U L T. And then we'll have it do a times x times y equals. And then we'll have x times y. Enter, enter. And one more. If we have add up, sub up, and mult up, you know we have to have a div up. So here it comes. Div up x divided by y equals x divided by y. Enter, enter. Okie dokie. Let's see if this works. A equals 2 and B equals 5. Yeah, that's good. All right. Add up. I'll pass it A and B. And I get 2 plus 5 equals 7. Oh, wonderful. Let's sub up. Pass it A and B. 2 minus 5 equals negative 3. Wow. Let's mult up and pass it A and B. And we get 2 times 5 equals 10. Finally, let's div up and pass it A and B. And we get 2 divided by 5 equals 0.4. Oh my goodness, we are good. So, that brings us to the end of function definitions. Well, introduction anyway. This is George Wool saying bye-bye.